and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Wednesday the 16th of October. The local media headlines today. How confident are you that Truro Newtown will ever be built? How confident are you that the 3,800 new houses will be built on time and within budget? Actually, that's a trick question because the original deadline for building houses has already been and gone and there doesn't seem to be a budget. In fact, no work on house building has even started. But hey, it'll all be done directly. There's definitely nothing to worry about. One change from last year's plan is that Truro Newtown won't be heated from the United Downs geothermal site five miles away. Details about how it will be heated remain extremely foggy. But again, there's definitely nothing to worry about. Also, please don't worry about all the greenhouse gases coming from the St Denis incinerator and don't worry about the cost of council contracts for school taxis. Everything is brilliant. That is the official answer to all your questions. The BBC had more details about that terrible accident involving a school bus at Mullion yesterday. Police say a woman in her 30s and a young boy who were in a car have suffered life-threatening injuries. They remain in hospital. Greatest Hits Radio observed that a local inquiry has started to consider how much it should cost to cross the River Tamar. The Cornish Times also covered that story. The Falmouth Packet noted a meeting between its local MP and Greenpeace activists. And finally, Cornwall Live is worried about the weather. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.